Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, it's so lovely to have you guys today, and it's so lovely for me to be filming again for you guys. I hope you're all okay. I hope you've had a lovely day, a lovely week, and yes, it's good to be back. So I have a little <coughs> a little I'm um, sorry time for you guys. It's quite a short one, but um I do want to say the same one. I'm gonna laugh a lot whilst um recording, but it's not because this story isn't a sensitive one and it's not because at the time it really hurt me but it's because when I think about it I just think how messed up people can be like people can be so messed up and disclaimer also for everyone out there who says all of this couple goals relationship goals cut it out just cut it out like because you don't know what goes on behind closed doors I'll just say that now for free you do not know so just be careful when you be saying couple goals, relationship goals, you know. But um, in terms of my story, um, so yeah, we'll just get straight into the story time. I have a tutoring business. Um, so I tutor um, young people, different age groups, for usually for 11 plus, but also for their GCSEs and stuff like that. So um, I started tutoring this particular boy. At the time, he was one of my favourite students. He was, I think, seven years old. He was super, super, super intelligent, like, to the point where I used to think, how do I tutor someone so smart? And his parents were so lovey-dovey, they were so, like, cute together. When I would see them, I would just be like, oh my gosh, they're such a lovely couple. To the extent where I remember even mentioning it to my sister that, you know, this boy that I tutor, let's just say his name is David, David's parents, like, they're so cute, the way they are with David and the way they are with each other, they're so, like into one another like you know and I was just so like happy to see that because you know so many times you'd be hearing negative things about relationships and it's just nowadays quite difficult to come across a healthy looking happy relationship so then yeah everything was cool I was shooting him for for a while and I would usually never have any interaction with the dad it would always be his mum that I would interact with she's the one who approached me in the first place and you know things like that at the time when i started my treatment business i was working by myself for myself because i at that time could not afford to hire other people praise god the business has grown and i'm so grateful because this is such a good thing because hopefully i'll never be in this position again um so at that time yeah, i was working for myself by myself so everyone that was part of my tuition business i was treating them personally um so yeah so then yeah everything was going fine i was tutoring him every week and it was fine i would never interact with the dad and then one time i don't know what exactly what happened i think the mum was away or she traveled or she just wasn't available that day it was usually saturday mornings i'll treat her but she would always be at home everyone would be home but for some reason this saturday she wasn't at home and then um the dad would like come in the room and just say are you okay are you fine whatever whatever check on us and everything will be cool end of the lesson came and at this time i used to um it was pay as you go um all the people i tutored were tutored were pay as you go so i would get paid right there and then every lesson and end of the lesson came now oh god bring me money order like pay me let me be go where i'm going you know what i mean because i tutored two kids that that morning saturday mornings i used to tutor two kids so i'm like fam don't hold me up let me be going i'm going to the door as i'm going this guy's following me as I'm going, this guy's following me. As I'm going, this guy's following me. And I'm thinking, ah, kilo de uncle chef telling me lo leni. Ah, like, what's the problem? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, ashe. So I'm going, 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 going. Get to the door now. This man's like, um, you live in so and so again, don't you? Like, just trying to say where I live. Is that not where you live again? Like, I'm like, yeah. He's like, where exactly? I'm like, what's that got to do with anything? Or girl, what that? Like, I was thinking, what, where's this conversation going? And I'm like, yeah, I live in this place. And he was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. And then he's like, um, like, are you usually really busy? I'm just thinking, where's this conversation going? I'm like, yeah, I'm busy. Like, my guy, what are you, like, where, where is this going? I was like, yeah, I'm busy. And then... He was like, okay, okay, okay. I was like, well, maybe sometime when I'm in your area, I can come around for tea. And I, oh. Tea. 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 T
tea. Nigga, like, tea? I was so baffed. Where, where, from where to where? Kill like Becky led you. Like, where did you get? Why, why, what? What? I didn't know. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Because I just wanted to get paid and get out of there. No word of a lie, guy. This guy followed me continuously all the way to the car. I got to the car now. David, obviously, his son. David is a really intelligent boy. He knew what was going on was not right. So David, as his dad is following me, David is also following. As his dad is following, David is also following. We get outside to my car here. Like, I've opened my car door, guys. Bearing in mind, I've sat in the car. My car door's open. This uncle was hanging on the door like this. Like, oh yeah, so do you cook? I'm just thinking, sir. Like, and I kept saying, sir, like, I need to go. Like, sir, I'm, I'm confused. Like, I was just like, why are you asking me questions? He was like, oh... Can I, can I take your number? And I'm like, no, David's mum has my number. So if there's anything you want to correspond with me about, you can contact me via her. I was so confused as to why this guy was asking me if I had a number. And I need to show you this year. This is receipts because, so yeah. So then he was following me. Can you call Greta to just ask me stupid questions? So I just said, listen, I've got to go. If you need to correspond with me, his mum has my number. I thought that was the end of that, yeah? Then, during the week now, I get a message from someone going, um, hello. I'm thinking, who the hell is this? Followed by two missed calls on WhatsApp. And then I looked at the picture, is it not this uncle? I said, good afternoon, sir. He says, good afternoon, how are you and how's the weekend? Your line ain't going through from mine. Guys, I think I told you guys this before in a previous video. My friend's always on Do Not Disturb. 200, I said 200, 365 days a year. Always on Do Not Disturb because of, I don't like people calling me. I don't like it. So it's always on Do Not Disturb. So this guy, I'm thinking, why do you have my number? Why are you messaging me? No word of a lie, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 miss. I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope it focuses. 11 missed calls from this guy for what okay so i'm just like asking him like sir like is there something i can help you with blah 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 like what's wrong whatever 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 he's just being annoying cool so then i went back the week after now yeah and then i'm um tutoring and you know one of those houses where the living room there's a window that connects the living room and the kitchen yeah so then um he after i had ignored his calls the mum was in the living room when the mum was there he didn't say anything to me and as the mum went upstairs he came down went into the kitchen bearing in mind i'm sitting here facing the kitchen facing that window so i can see that window and his son is sitting on the opposite side so his son's back is to him so his son can't see what he's doing he was like he mouthed to me why are you ignoring my calls like why are you ignoring my calls i'm thinking are you mad i just aired it then he came into the living room and he was like, oh, I see what you're doing. Well done. And I'm just thinking, what is this man on about? Well done what? I'm just thinking, can you, like, stop interacting with me, please? Cool. That went like that. This man consistently called me, like, every single day that week. To the extent where I was so vexed. Cool. Then one evening, I was in the car with one of my boys. Like, we were just chilling. This guy kept calling and calling and calling and calling and calling. Like, my boy was like, Lisa, like, who is this guy that's calling you? Like, he, he was calling and calling and calling and calling and calling and calling and calling, calling, like, consistently calling my phone. My boy was like, Lisa, what is happening? Like, your phone is belling off, like. And bearing in mind, my phone's always on do not disturb. So every time a missed call comes in, the light will just flash, like, the screen will just flash. He kept seeing that flash, like, ah, kill or dead? Like, is your phone, what's happening? cool so then i told him what happened like my guy like this what's going on this man is basically harassing me like it's pissing me off he was like when he calls next you want me to pick up and i'm just like nah like i'm a big woman i don't need you to be picking up and at the end of the day it's unprofessional of me as much as his behavior was unprofessional to start with like it's unprofessional of me to kind of get you to pick up my phone i just thought that that was silly a silly thing to do 
So and then he was like, Lisa, when he calls you again, you just need to tell him, like, why you call? Like, you need to make him feel dumb. Like, why are you calling? Okay. So then when he calls, I pick up the phone now. And then he was like, oh, um, hi. I said, good evening, sir. Like, is there something I can help you with? Like, is David okay? Is everything okay? Because the only reason you should be calling me is regarding your son. So I was like, is David okay? Is everything okay? He's like, yeah, everything is fine. I just wanted to check on you to see if you're okay. I said, Uncle, did I tell you that I was sick? I said, on my side, everything is fine, no. Is David fine? Even Yusuf, are you fine? Is your wife okay? He was like, yes. I so I don't see why you're calling me. I don't see why you're calling me to ask me if I'm okay. I'm, I'm confused. He was like, oh, okay. Like, I just wanted to, I said, sir, I've got to go. Like, I don't understand. And I'll really appreciate it if you stop calling me so many times because it's really disturbing. I get off the phone from this man. Everything is fine, no, nothing from there, nothing. I tutored him, the son, the, the following Saturday. No word of a lie, guys, yeah. I get a message and I totally saw this coming because when everything happened, there was a part of me that considered going to the wife. But I know how some people can be like, she's going to be in denial and it's all going to be flipped back on me. It's going to be made to seem like I instigated the whole thing when it wasn't me. So I left it, I didn't say anything. I get a message from her going, oh, hi, um, I hope you're okay. Me and David's dad have just been thinking that, oh, maybe we should stop David's tuition for now. When I got that message, guys, I was ready to fight someone. Like, cause I'm like, this idiot is stopping my bag because he's of his own selfish desires. What you're doing is even wrong because you are a married man. First of all, it's, I'm not, you're not my type. If you see the man, he looks like one hobbit. That's number one. He actually looks like Harry Potter. Number two, you're a married man. Like, shit, everything well, okay? Is everything all right back home? Like, I was so baffed. This man was like, yeah, we've just been thinking, like, yeah, we just thought it would be best right now to just stop his tuition, blah, 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 blah. I was ready to go where I would, but I thought, you know what? I've kept my integrity. If my integrity is still intact and it means me losing what? a few pounds i'm okay with that i'm not gonna let you bully me into submission because of your selfish desires no i'm not doing that what so because i stood up to you you went to go and tell your wife that ah uh, get rid of me i'm fine with that because at the end of the day you're so selfish that you're ready for your own son's um education to suffer because someone rejected you small man syndrome short man syndrome your ego is bigger than you as a whole being i just thought forget it people like that they're not worth it like in that moment i was really hurt and really upset and my bag means a lot to me i wouldn't i, I don't let nothing get in the way of my bag i don't let my emotions i don't let the way i'm feeling i don't let sickness where it can be helped i don't let nothing get in the way of my bag because i work hard for my money so when you start getting in the way of my bag me and you we have to scrap you know but I thought, you see this one, I will leave it to God. So much so that I actually prayed about it like, God, help this man. Because my thing is that if he could do it to me so comfortably, he's he's been doing that. He's been doing that. I'm not special. I'm just one of the other women that he's trying to do this to. Do you know what I mean? And when you start seeing those uncles that are not really your uncles, they'll be like, oh, Bissy, you really grow. And you need to get rid of those uncles out of your life. But anyway... That is that story. From that day, I've never seen him. I've never interacted with him. I've, like, do you know what's funny as well, actually? When the whole thing happened, I was going to message him going, you realise that I have receipts. Like, I have every message that you've sent to me. And every single time that you've called me. And not once have I returned your calls. I could go to your wife now and expose you. But I thought, first of all, I'm not one to do that. It's not my marriage. Number two, you're not even worth it. You know, I don't even want to show that what you've done has even bothered me. So I thought, I'll leave you to God. But anyways guys that's my story time but thank you guys so much for watching this video um i hope you guys are well anyway but i'll catch you guys in my next video